I know that uh, sometimes um, uh, platforms are looking the world through their own business. Sometimes Telco too. I'm proposing a new approach. Let's look at the future. What do we want to build together? And I know it will not be the same network than today. For the platform to be able to deliver their services to the consumer, for the telco to be able to do the same, and again, for the benefit of our consumer. This being done, we'll discuss what is the amount we need to invest, what should be a smart return of equity or capital employed, and then, is the regulation fit for purpose? Do we need to change the regulation? We will have zero taboo. Do we need to adapt it? Do we need to discuss who should pay for what? This is exactly what is the consideration today. But again, don't look at this consultation as if it was just to solve an issue that I understand, that I'm aware of, between telco and platform. It's about broader than that. And because it's broader, I'm sure we'll find a smart solution. Think about kind of changing its position on or looking at carefully, as you said. You know, this consultation is very open. And uh, after the I'm here to meet all the stakeholders. I announced the consultation. The consultation is open for everyone. And by the way, uh, I'm willing to have uh, the largest audience to answer to this consultation. Again, telco, industry. I met, uh, I met uh, semiconductor industries. I have a lot of things to say. Uh, regulator. I met the FCC from New York, the chairwoman of the FCC in the, in the United States. Uh, everyone will have something to say. So I open this to everyone not only for this part or that part, and we will build together our future. All of the network operators here have been investing. They've been pushing to deploy technology like 5G. There's even talk of 6G at this show. I've got so many Gs. And they're having to spend all this money on infrastructure, but then all the traffic goes over the top of it. And the network operators are very, very concerned about the fact that they have to take all the cost in terms of making the networks, but then big companies like Netflix and Amazon and Google and Paramount and others stream all this content over the networks but consumers don't want to pay any more. They might be using 50% more data year on year, but they're paying a tiny marginal amount of increasing costs. So the operators are trying to lobby for the fact that those content companies generating all this traffic should take some of the responsibility and pay for some of the cost of delivering it. I'm very skeptical whether they're gonna be capable of taking that in any kind of positive direction, but there is South Korea where Netflix were um, forced to pay some money to the networks but to pay for some of the traffic and I think the European operators are hanging on to that and hoping that maybe they could do the same. There's a well-established principle called net neutrality, which means that networks have to open their networks to anyone that wants to pass traffic over to them. Some of this discussion around whether the content players start to have to pay for access, maybe offer more premium types of access so you get a better bandwidth or better quality or prioritized traffic is very controversial because although the operators want to find a way to monetize the cost of building the networks, equally they have to maintain their commitment to net neutrality. So the regulators are in a tight spot. They've got to figure out what approach they're going to take to try and figure out how networks can keep scaling in an economic and affordable manner. Thank you.